I just got my last piece of furniture delivered and thank god it took like so long and I was really contemplating on calling the company or not because it was just taking way too long but it's finally here and I'm going to be able to finish up the rest of my kitchen because this is the state of it right now everything is just on the floor but yeah I'm gonna put that in it's already assembled so I don't have to do anything and yeah hopefully this will finally be the end to my unpacking and organizing decide if I want to put this new cabinet here or if I should just leave it the same like this hmm I'm not really sure what I want to do because the cord is a little far away so I do have to make sure my appliances are plugged in but at the same time like aesthetically I don't know which one I want should I keep it or should I move it hi friends it is a while later actually i haven't picked up the camera in quite a bit but i just got my hair cut i only got these side bang pieces because i do tie my hair a lot and i'm tired of looking bald so i did get these i do like how it turned out it's very nice so hopefully i will look a little better when school starts but yeah today i wanted to go to this place for lunch but it is unfortunately closed on Mondays and I made the same mistake last week because I was planning to go last week too. So I think I'm just going to go find a cafe to chill at today and we'll see how it goes. But this is what my hair looks like from the front. It just gives a little bit more dimension to my face because I'm tired of looking like bald or like an egg when I tie my hair up. So yeah, I'm happy with it. I wanted to go to a cafe, but first I'm gonna grab lunch and I saw this place on YouTube, so I wanted to try it. so good and it's 
cute. So, I love how my bangs look. I wanted to film more in the bubble store, but unfortunately they weren't very nice. And so I didn't feel comfortable filming there. But yeah, the cafe is real nice though. Just the cookie. Mmm. Mm, this is yummy. And chewy. food and read a book. Hi friends! It has been a while since I've picked up the camera, I think. It's been like a couple days, I think. But today is my very last day of winter break. I'm going back to school tomorrow. And it's kind of weird because I am going into my last semester now. And so I only have a couple months of college left and I graduate and I am no longer a student which is really weird but yes so I did want to kind of do something a little special just to kind of commemorate like oh I'm going back to school so I ordered some food it's gonna be here shortly and I figured we could just eat and chit chat because I feel like I have a lot of emotions about being a second semester senior and it's nice to chit chat and catch up all right, my dinner just came. I got Myeongnang Hapdogu, which is the Korean corn dogs with the cheese in them. And, oh, you know, honestly, I feel like it's gotten a little smaller, but it's okay. The price of ingredients has risen, so I kind of understand. But I got the potato crusted one. This is my favorite. I'm not sure if this is potato or sweet potato because I did order both. But yes, I've been craving like hot dogs because I saw it on TikTok and I don't know what it is about TikTok, but sometimes when I see people eating, it really gets my cravings going. So, okay, let's see, I also got the sweet chili sauce because that's the only sauce that I really like. And okay, hopefully I have a good cheese pull because I will be kind of sad if I don't. Okay, here we go. Successful cheese pull. Mmm, wait. I think this is the sweet potato one. Because it tastes a little sweeter than like a regular potato. I wish I had one of these like within walking distance of my house. Because sometimes I don't want to be ordering like five because I want to meet the delivery minimum. I just want to like order one and then like have it to go, you know? Good, good. But yes, anyway, I kind of wanted to talk about how I feel as like a second semester senior because it like feels very strange to me that I only have a couple months of school left. Like it's very weird because I feel like I haven't really had much of a like a college experience. Th thanks in part to COVID, but also just the fact that like I'm not going to be able to be a student anymore. What I mean by that is I feel like for so long I have always had that security of like being a student is part of my identity and even if I don't have a job or something like I could always fall back on the oh I'm still a student or 
if someone asked me like what I do, I would say I'm a student. And the fact that I can't really, I don't have like a set identity anymore. Like I don't have something to say when someone asks me, oh, what am I? It's hard to kind of wrap my head around that. It's giving me a little bit of an existential crisis. Mm -hmm. mm. The cheese pulls are good today. Mm. But I don't know. I think it's also because like now I actually have to go find my own way. And like I actually have to kind of build my own life without following like the traditional path of like high school, college, like I don't have something that's like set for me to do anymore or like something to follow that's set by society. Um, it's a little confusing too because like I don't really know what I'm gonna do with my life and the fact that like I don't have like I don't really have like a safety net anymore because like being in school was kind of like still like oh i still have time to figure things out but now like i'm realizing i really don't got a lot of time to figure things out and i just like i feel like my life has been very non-traditional in the sense that like covid and then moving across the world for college and just like all of the little things in my life that have happened i feel like i didn't exactly take the most basic trajectory with and I'm trying not to let myself spiral because I know I will if I think too much about it. But yeah, it's just weird because like, I think for the first time in a very long time, I've actually started to enjoy being in university because the first like two and a half years or so, maybe even like up to three years. Yeah, because I only started enjoying college last semester, which was like my first semester as a senior. So it took me like three full years to actually start kind of enjoying being in school and I feel sad that it took me that long for me to get to this kind of place and it's also sad that I don't have enough time because I compared to like the amount of time I didn't like college the amount that I'm getting to spend that I do enjoy is like so small in comparison does that even make sense? Like in a way, I feel like I've been robbed of my time because people are always like, college is like the best time of your life. Like you're gonna love it. Like you're always gonna look fondly on it. But to me, college is like one of the most depressing times of my life. And the fact that like, I don't really have that like golden time or like my golden years to look fondly upon like later in life, it does kind of like upset me a little bit. But at the same time, like, I am grateful that I did at least get the chance to have some time that I will enjoy because I think coming to Korea really, like, gave me the chance to, like, change the course of my college experience. Because I feel like if I had stayed in America, I wouldn't have had the chance to, like, turn things around. But, yeah, I don't know, like, I'm probably rambling a lot, but, like, half of me is, like, excited to graduate because for so many years i just like kept telling myself like let's just graduate let's just graduate because at one point i was like i really don't want to go to college anymore and like secretly i think i was contemplating like what if i just dropped out because i'm so miserable but i didn't drop out because i didn't have a backup plan i didn't have the luxury of dropping out and i think having like a degree is like at least some form of security in your life but now that like I'm at the point where I'm about to graduate, it's very weird to me because I've always been like looking forward to graduation for so long and it's been like my goal for so long that now that I'm about to achieve it, it's a little weird. I can't really put it into words, but I almost feel like, oh my gosh, like what am I going to fixate on now? I've kind of been just like enduring or like getting through up until like the, oh, I just need to graduate. But now that I'm graduating, it's like, well, what's my next goal? Like, what's my next, like, let's just try until you hit this, like, next milestone. Like, what is my next milestone? That is my crisis right now. One hot dog clear. Here is my second one. This is just the regular potato one. I don't know if this doesn't have cheese pull or not. It's been sitting a while. 
But yeah, I don't know. I, I'm just like sad that I'm trying to cram all of the good parts of college into like such a short time period. But I am also thankful that I did get to experience some things that I can look fondly upon. fun part about eating hot dogs i don't know i also think because like 90 percent of my friends are in like the tech field so their path of life is a little bit different than mine because i'm like a humanities person and like most of my tech friends already have jobs lined up for them and they've had jobs like signed already and like they know where they're going after university so it's like there's already that um that sense of security for them whereas like for me i don't really know what i'm going to be doing yet and i think a lot of what is making me like kind of spiral is like the unknown the fact that i have no control over my life after the life of a student because i feel like as a student you're like oh like it's a guarantee i'm going to class i'm doing exams like i'm studying but i don't have that structure anymore and i'm someone who like really thrives on structure there's like a lot of worries that i have but you know it is what it is i think if there's like one thing i am really grateful for throughout my four years of university is that i had the opportunity to like enjoy both perspectives because a lot of people only have like an american college experience or a korean college experience or like a european college experience or like they're set in like one place and maybe they'll do like a study abroad but most of their time is like situated in one particular like place but for me i get to experience like both and the fact that i have like a mixed experience i think has also opened my eyes to a lot of like culture differences and i've been learning a lot and i think that's like the one thing that is so unique about my life and just i'm kind of grateful for it in the sense that even though there were a lot of parts that sucked like i still ended up having like a new experience that turned out well for me like i get to live in my own place i've become more independent i've like grown as a person and i feel like i know how to take care of myself better now so through like the ups and downs i feel like i don't know i'm i'm, I'm going through it as you can see but yeah it's like a little surreal to me that i'm literally having my last first day of college tomorrow so yeah that's where i'm at I don't know it's like i think the uncertainty is like the main part and the biggest concern that i have but also like you can't know everything that's going to happen in your life and i think good things and opportunities do also come from the unknown so i'm just waiting and seeing like i know i'm gonna have like a really good semester this time and like I have so many things that I need to do like the things that you can only do like right before you're graduating like taking grad pictures and like going on trips with friends and things like that I'm a little nervous but I am also excited so we shall see second hot dog clear if you stayed this long thank you for listening to my rant um I'm going to try my best to keep filming and just posting as much as I can because I don't have that much time left in Korea so I'm gonna make the most of it just like living it and also content wise so yeah until next time